so 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 Good day everyone, welcome to Gwen's at London Lifestyle. If you are new to my channel, please don't forget to subscribe, comment below, and share it if you like it. Today I'm making a curried cream dory with coconut milk and masala. Please stay tuned. In Gwen's Islander Lifestyle, I am showing you my method of cooking my food. Maybe chicken or beef or fish. Well, today I am boiling my fish before I cook it because all of the meat will really have a smell if you if I don't do this. Now I will show you how I cook my cream dory, curried cream dory with coconut milk and masala. First, I am boiling my lemon in two cups, in three to four cups of water. I am putting my turmeric leaves. I am putting my lemon grass and. I will be boiling it together with my cream dory. So here is my fillet cream dory. I always consume two. During lunch time, I will be consuming one. And during dinner, so I don't have to cook again, I will be reheating another fillet. That is why I recommend all of the vegetables must not be overcooked for you to have ample time for reheating it. So you save a lot of time cooking. And of course, for working moms, this can save you a lot of energy. No? So this is my ingredients. While I am boiling this one to cook further of course after one boil it's already done we will put out the heat so that we will just let it be and set aside and of course cream dory is very soft so this is a better method to cook it do not overcook it because it will become mushy I will be showing you my fresh coconut milk from my coconut tree at my backyard garden. And I am very lucky to eat this every day. <laughs> mm -hmm. It is the coconut pearl. It is very good for your body. Of course, we will be starting with 2 tablespoons of olive oil. And the usual, if there's no olive oil, you can use your coconut oil, palm oil, or whatever it is your choice. And your 3 tablespoons of garlic, 1 violet onion, 1 ginger sliced, and of course your green and orange and red bell peppers. I am very rich today. I have those in my backyard garden. And this, our 2 tablespoons of onion and garlic powder, 2 tablespoons of black pepper, and 2 tablespoons of thyme and rosemary. And of course, 2 tablespoons of curry and masala. And your 1 cup of Talong in Tagalog, eggplant in English, and of course more of your lemongrass, 
And of course, this is optional. I will be adding this for my taste. Uh, bitter gourd or ampalaya in Tagalog. And our pechay or the Chinese cabbage. So moms, here we go now. I am waiting for our 3 cups, 3 to 6 cups of fresh coconut milk. Yes, I love this one in my dish. MWF, I am doing this in my dish, with my delicious dish. So here it is now, the most important ingredients of my cream dory with coconut milk, curry, and masala. Good day everyone! Welcome to Boan's A Longer Lifestyle! If you are new to my channel, please don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment below, and share it if you like it. Today, I will be making my cream dory in coconut milk. Please stay tuned. So, we will start with 2 tablespoons of olive oil. And of course, the usual, if you don't have olive oil, you can always use your coconut oil and your palm oil. And then of course, you drain already your fish so that after cooking this with low heat, After cooking this with low heat, we will be adding our fish, the cream dory. And then after that, we will also put our orange, red, and green pepper. And of course, use it later, the half of it. That is how I cook some more my vegetables and my fish. We have to pre-cook our fish so that there will be no smell. If you have no liver problem, you can just fry your fish and then put it on your On your curry dish. So we will boil it some more by adding two tablespoons of ground pepper, two tablespoons of thyme, two tablespoons of rosemary, and two tablespoons of onion and garlic powder. So it will be very flavored and seasoned with our coconut milk. And of course, our curry and masala. We will be cooking it further and simmer it for another 2 minutes. And don't forget to cover it. Once it is already boiling, put it in your, as a reminder that we have to cook it well done but not overcooked. We will be adding our bitter gourd. Drain it with water, of course put it with water, so that it will maintain its freshness. And bitter gourd natin. Simmer. 
simmer it again for another one minute. After one minute, we will put our eggplant. This is optional, moms. It's just me that I want this kind of vegetables. And whatever it is that's available in your backyard garden or in your refrigerator, you can add it if you want it. And cover it for another one minute. After simmering it for another one minute, Never forget to put your put your lemongrass for added aroma and so that it will be smelling fresh and there is no smell with the meat, maybe beef, maybe chicken, or maybe fish. And of course your salt. Me I do not add salt while cooking. Huh? I can, I only add salt after cooking. But that's how you cook your meal so that I put salt there. But the way I cook it, you don't need salt for low salt diet. And last is your petri. Always properly put your petri nicely. So that when you do your plating, it's not difficult. And always put last your vegetables that you're going to use as your garnish. So you won't have difficulty in doing your plating. So here we go now guys. This is the, the time that we monitor our vegetables so that it will never be overcooked. And this is the time that it is very good already for plating. This is my full plate of carbs, protein, and all the nutrients that I need for the rest of the day. Enjoy, mom cheese, my fish, cream dory, cream dory fish with curry and coconut milk, and of course, it is optional to add masala. Enjoy your meal! This is a very satisfying meal that I have for tonight. And that was also my lunch. Because I have to do a lot of paperwork today. That is why I have to cook one lang. One meal and we eat. So thank you for watching Gwen's Islander Lifestyle. And this is the moment of truth. Mm.
Mom, sobrang sarap. <laughs> I don't need salt for this. But for those who are healthy, more salt for you. Mmm! God bless! Nay, kalami iya! So, so, so!